Hello everyone, this is Ike from Ike and Me Gaming. I just want to do a quick little tutorial video for lawn mowing simulator, specifically about why your employee isn't making you any money. And so I know a lot of people probably have this problem. You hire an employee because you figure, hey, I'll make more money and then things don't work. So I'm just going to touch on a few issues why that may be. So first off, you see I do have an employee. You can have a super good one and pay more money or a bad one and pay less, but they can still do jobs. Just the better ones will make slightly more money. They'll hit less things. They'll wreck up your mower a little bit less, that kind of thing. So if we just click to the side here and look at our contracts. So let's pick the, let's pick the biggest thing here. So we'll put our employee on. That's the second one here. I'm the first one on the left. So first you got to pick someone, which you probably already knew that if you played this game. Then second, you've got to use a lawnmower. So we'll pick the one that's in square there. The other one doesn't have quite the right equipment. And then we'll pick one of these weed eaters. Okay. So you're going to need all of that. You're going to need an employee. You're going to need the proper lawnmower for that contract. And then you're going to need a weed eater, the proper one for that contract. Now we see here, there's all the details on the contract, as you probably know and have seen. So if we just click confirm, you may think, oh, great, he's going to go or she's going to go and do that. No, that's, that's not what they go do. And that's one of the things a lot of new people don't realize is that they don't just magically go and do whatever you've told them to do. So let's back up for a second. And let's look at our shop just quickly here. You see how I have two mowers? They're not exactly the same thing. One has a, a bag compartment and one doesn't. See how one has that on it? Okay, so you need to have two mowers. That's the end all be all. You have to have at least two mowers. You can have more. You can have like 15 mowers if you want, if you have enough garage space. But right now I only have enough garage space for two. So I've got two. If you have three employees, you're gonna need three mowers one for you and one each for them okay so that's you can't share the one mower i tried that a long time ago it doesn't work same with this you need another weed eater you need at least two i ended up with three i just kept it and whatever it doesn't matter okay so let's go back to the contract now the the last thing that makes a difference and you can train your employees too by the way and make them better so they do less damage and they they don't hit things and they save your lawnmower a little bit and all that good stuff and that you can do, by the way, once you go into the employee section, you can just click right here. See this train? You can train them on one of these three things. But either, even if you don't train them, they can still do stuff, okay? So back to our contract screen. So we already have our employee signed up here in the yellow one. Now, here's the main trick. If you've gotten this far and it still hasn't worked, this is why. You need to do something, okay? So let's throw ourselves in here. If I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to do a huge thing, like a big one hour mow job or whatever, half an hour or whatever, or if I've already done that piece of property, sometimes I'll do this a little bit of a hack, I guess, or cheat, depending how you look at it. So you notice I put them on a really expensive thing and now I'm going to just do a picking up garbage thing. And so they will only, only do a contract. When you have properly signed them up with the proper equipment and you are also doing something don't forget you must do something okay so we'll just carry on through here if you've that's basically the tutorial but if you just want to stick in here and watch me do this that's great if not that's fine thanks for joining us and come back again and uh, at the end of this you'll see that my employee has done something and I'll show you how much money he has made okay so I'm just basically picking up garbage quickly oops sometimes my uh, sometimes my camera moves a little a little too fast with this controller playing on PS4 um, I'd much rather be on a computer but uh, unfortunately that's just not what I have at the moment okay so when I do these I just kind of walk the outside and I'm running the whole time so I just just saves time doesn't really save money but it does save time I run and you also gotta when you do these you gotta kind of remember 
what you already did and what you didn't do type thing. So you're not just running like your head's cut off trying to do the same thing. And the things are not all the the objects that you pick up are not always the same amount. Like there's not always twelve like there is right now. And they're not always in the same place either, by the way. Okay, we'll grab that. And you can grab them at a full run, by the way. If you hear the ding, you're good. You don't technically have to stop. Sometimes um sometimes they don't pick it up quite like you want them to and you end up stopping, but in theory you can do it full tilt running. Okay, so we got three more left to go. They're probably up in the top part. Okay, we did. There, that's the last one there. Now we gotta get into this middle part here. It'll be somewhere in here. Let's just go ahead and circle up here. And then we'll come back down. And so if you need to make some quick cash and you already have your mower, then this is what you're going to want to do. If you don't feel like, or just got a few minutes maybe, don't feel like doing a big to-do, then you can do it this way. Now, I missed one somewhere. Oh, there's one right there. Perfect. Okay, wonderful. So I'm running as fast as my guy will run. It may not look like he's running, but he is. And so we'll get down, go to the truck, hit X to leave. I'll make 40 some dollars or 30 some maybe. Depends how quick you go, what you get for a bonus, but you'll see. The reason I did that was just so you could see what my employee is going to do because I know watching garbage is not that big a deal. All right. So I got a little bonus there. So I made 38.49. Okay. So that's me. So now let's look at, okay, now this is what my employee did. I know the person looks same, but this is what the employee did. See, they made $797.50. So they did a ground check and they lost $4 on penalties and fines, which is probably less than what I would have lost. Now, because they're not fully trained, they're not making the full amount that I would or you would when you do it. So you want to train them up to make a little bit more money per month. And that's how it works. Just like that. You can accept that all. See, I got a new rank back here again, and then you can go back to your contracts and start the whole thing again. So just to re recap it, you need a mower, two of them, at least two. If you have three employees, you need four mowers. So you need one for you, one for each of your employees. You need same thing for the your trimmers, one for you, one for each of the employees. Have extra if you want, hey, that's fine. And then you gotta sign them up to a contract all the way through. And then you have to sign yourself up for a contract and you have to do your contract. And as you do yours, no matter what it is, even if it's just picking up garbage, they will do theirs. Now, hopefully that helps you. If it did, please like, subscribe, comment, and come back and check out some of our other videos on Lawn Mowing Simulator or even other games you'll see that we play. Thanks. Have a great day.